With the governor's announcement for more places like indoor gyms to close for the second time since the start of this pandemic, some business owners are getting innovative so they can remain open. News Channel 3's Caitlin Thrope shows us how one local gym owner is bringing her business outdoors. With this latest shutdown, I decided, you know what? They said we could take it outdoors, so I took it outdoors. <laughs> Ashley Robertson owns Dedicated Strength, a gym in India. Today, she held her first class outdoors. This morning, they had smiles on their faces. They came prepared with cooling towels and water bottles. So we just were really excited to see that we were able to bring this to them and still offer it to them. She believes working out builds immunity. After closing for three months at the beginning of the pandemic, they saw a surge in members when they reopened. Now Ashley believes it's essential for them to stay open this time around. Our every station is more than six feet apart, so we make sure to really spread out since we're outdoors. Her classes are either early in the morning at 5 or 8.30 a.m. and in the evening at 5 or 6.30 p.m. But even then, it's still very hot outside. Even though it's hot, like I said, you're here to sweat anyway. Sweat more, burn more. It's always been my motto. Ashley says her trainers are keeping a close eye on their members for signs of heat-related illness. We have cut back the length of our classes right now. So instead of a 50-minute class, it's about a 40-minute class. Part of that is because of the heat, and we don't want to have them out here too long in it. But we watch for signs. My trainers are all certified. We all watch to make sure that we don't see anybody showing any signs of heat stroke, that they're not getting pale. And if they are getting a little winded, we have them sit down and take a breather for a minute. The pandemic has brought out innovation in business owners like Ashley, who have had to adapt to many changes. People have had to think outside the box. We've had to learn to get outside the gym. <laughs> We've had to learn to do it in our homes through Zoom, through the circuit workouts, now even in the parking lot. And being innovative is what may be the key to keeping their doors from closing for good at the end of this. During this pandemic, as you know, we've still had rent to pay and bills to pay, so we've still had to keep up with all of that. So this has been a way to be able to still help do that so that we can ensure that we're still here for the community when all this is over. In Indio, Caitlin Thrope, News Channel 3.